Do you have card nine, good sir? Yeah, got card nine. I guess they did get it in the freaking wheat field looking thing. Oh, all right. This is important then, right? <coughs> What's happening here? Ah, snake. You're too late. He's already passed away. Who knows? His heart couldn't take it anymore. The convoluted directions and what you needed to do. Couldn't take it anymore. Wait. It's that bruise on his neck. Not to worry, Snake. Marv may be dead, but plans for the Oilix are safe. Is Madnar a baddie? Marv was a very careful man. He left behind a copy of the plans in case of emergency. He had a reputation as a video game enthusiast. He even used to have them shipped to, uh... He even used to have them shipped to him from the West every month. A few days ago, he hid some microfilm in the circuit board of one of his game cartridges. <laughs> it was an MSX cartridge made by a Japanese company called Konami. MSX. That's the world's best-selling brand of computer, isn't it? <laughs> then he hid the cartridge inside that locker. Love to see the self-insert plugs. Where's the key? I don't know. I couldn't get it out of him. I mean, he never told me. Did you kill him? I don't trust Madnar anymore. I think he murderized that guy. Is what I think is uh, is going on here. Hold on, let's see here. Hold on. Snake, you're in danger. Holly, what's wrong? Snake, it's Madnar. I thought there was something strange about him, so I had the agency check him out. Turns out he has an OnlyFans. After he was rescued by Outer Heaven, apparently things didn't... Uh, after he was rescued from Outer Heaven, apparently things didn't go well for him. His radical theories were rejected in the West. He was dismissed as a madman and shut out of the scientific community. As time went on, he was forgotten. Manor wasn't exactly happy with the scientific community either. He must have been searching for some way to get back at them. That's when Zanzibar Land talked him into becoming a double agent. He'd use his status as a scientist to feed technological secrets from east and west to Zanzibar Land. And Dr. Marv's disappearance. Right. Timing is too perfect. Madnar must have given them every detail of Marv's itinerary in the U.S. Madnar was after the way like all along. That's why he wanted to go to America with Marv. I'm afraid you've got me, Snake. I gave up everything to be a part of your world. Even the country I was born and raised in. But your world had nothing but contempt and abuse for me. I just wanted to finish Metal Gear same. But it was, it freaking bugged the heck out and I couldn't. It is the culmination of all my life's work in robotology. But your politicians were only interested in nonsense like SDI, NU, and brain bombs. I passed on the scientific secrets of the East and the West to South Island. And in return, they aided me in my efforts to improve Metal Gear. Madner, did you kill Dr. Marv? Yes, he would not share the secrets of Oilix with me. And it was I who caused Gustava's death on the bridge by contacting Fox from the sewer. The bathroom break. Snake. I know, Marv. No. Gustava gave you the key to the locker. Give it to me! It just starts choking out Snake? What are you, what are you, what are you do in this situation? What, what do you do? Just like RC missile into him? By directing it around? Can't breathe. <laughs> this is actually how this battle goes? <laughs> I can't breathe. If he starts running low on health, just eat some rations while being choked out. Is the easy solution there. <laughs> I can't breathe. I, was, I know I'll read the thing we're bombed here in a hot second. I'm sorry. I can't breathe. How many missiles do you need to pump into his back? I can't breathe. What the heck? Well, I guess this is why you need a lot of RC missiles for this specific... Uh, Situation, yeah, getting choked out and on the verge of death. How about you just eat some food? That's the solution. I'll keep that in mind if ever I'm choking. Eat food. Yep, that's a solution right there. Oh, well, I guess he's dead, so now. No more Dr. Madnar. So now you can use the key to open that locker and get the cartridge, I guess. So it definitely wasn't the cartridge that was missing, since it is definitely like a later game thing we're bought there. But yeah, let's just see here. I don't know how well someone would like watching the Halo 2 anniversary cutscene movie without seeing Halo C cutscene movie without game's anniversary. <laughs> it look like crap. A pretty decent job explaining what happened to see the first cutscene, you feel like. If I ever looked at them, I'd probably, you know, look at them in order. And for God of War, it's Ascension, Chains, 1, Betrayal, Ghost, 2, 3, 2018, and Ragnarok. 
like release order or chronological order in terms of like storyline because i would imagine that one would have been the first one released right um so that was the brooch seems to be made of a memory alloy try changing the temperature of the brooch over and out yeah so you have to go heat it up and then bring it back to that locker well that's uh that's pretty annoying i'm kind of glad i'm hands off right now okay so chronological order because yeah it would have uh that'd be strange if one wasn't the first game released <coughs> all right where's someplace hot how far do you need to go to get to someplace hot to change its form and then go back do you have to go like all the way back to the other side of the world that would wow it straight up is isn't it that <laughs> straight up is what's going on you have to go all the way to that one sauna is that like the only place that you can do it because if so that uh you know sure sucks to suck where are you going what are you doing was the sauna over was it in the main building i thought it was in that other one it might be in the main building might well be the case if i release it it was one two chains ghost betrayal three ascension 2018 regular okay so yeah i guess that's the reason why i thought that there was a trilogy because because there is one two three but yeah definitely a lot more titles then in that case all right so there's the green card so that's all the cards then and then down the freaking poop shoot or dust shoot whatever the heck um so do you trek all the way to the sauna you do don't you so there's all this stuff going on well that psp money makes sense there yeah they trek to the sauna don't they all the way around so there's the freezer oh maybe not the sauna but the freezer then because then like the rations are frozen and stuff so yeah that's the uh that's a key now right oh so some of them are mobile games as well so then you have to trek all the way back i guess right oh that's so silly oh that's so silly trails of black sheep so is that like a mobile one psp is bog only psp game i ever played was assassin's creed bloodlines as we went through the whole assassin's creed series in order which is crazy to think that we're done with spin-offs now as of earlier today <coughs> what are you doing was there some secret in that room or something who knows yeah checking all the way back yeah i'm kind of glad that we're just tuning into this and you know i'm not going through this mess here anymore because yeah this would have taken me probably a, at least a couple more hours and yeah i kind of want to stream other things during the stream you know definitely wouldn't mind all right so keep skipping ahead so when i'm looking for things in video guides like this i'm trying to figure out you know what the heck i'm supposed to do this is just straight up what i do is i just you know spam four or five seconds until i see you know the area that seems like what it is i'm supposed to do you know all right so then all the way back yeah that's so silly to uh, be able to use that key my goodness gracious i believe it uh what is going on in that room a bunch of flies or something oh it's rats are you gonna call the freaking zoology guy be like yep them's some rats so sneak come in well that sounds like the highly poisonous zanzibar hamster there are 1183 different species of mice in the world hamsters are rodents belonging to the mouse family they grow to be about 25 to 20 centimeters long and are found across northern eurasia cool and in iraq it's not just a boulder it's a rock uh that variety was probably bred to be a house pet house mice are very cautious creatures you press a at such weird times they won't come out of their nests with <coughs> humans around their favorite food is cheese that's it cheese you use cheese as bait do you have any on you too bad you're not here i just ordered a pizza myself order <laughs> over and out order it out yeah imagine if you didn't have rations in your inventory at this point that contain cheese how much that it suck you know that would be real bad and then you have to go and trek out and find wherever that would be so yeah equip that thing where bob they not coming out no i guess they did at one point i guess they did so is that the cartridge then the msx cartridge that has the plans yeah picked up cartridge okay snake i thought he died snake he'll never let you get away he'll use it he'll use metal gear i have one last gift for my daughter ellen i'll tell you how to destroy it 
how to destroy the new Metal Gear. Try as I might, I could not reconcile East and West in my heart of hearts. But Ellen is different. Snake, you must do this for Ellen, the daughter I left behind. How do I destroy Metal Gear? The armor is thinnest on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way. <laughs> well, he's out of here, I guess. Well, he's gonzo. My oh my. That certainly is one heck of an encounter there. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, final conclusion of a senile old man. There's no way to destroy this Metal Gear snake. Fox, where are you? Come and find me. Come and find out, snake. I predicted wrong. Go through the front door. So, the, so okay, that's the symbol on the map that shows a boss. Is the case. So... Oh, oh, so it gives you the ability to stock up in the other rooms first, which is handy. Before, I guess, like, the finale sequence is what's going on here. Alrighty. So then, oh, hold on. Back one. Alright, so what's in the room? It's Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear. That's not supposed to crack. Ow. There it is. We got, like, a little preview of the feet before. I guess we've seen it on the title screen, is the case. Grenades at the feet snake i'm not the same as i used to be and neither is metal gear yeah this dude takes a while to press a well i could have been pressing a at whatever time if i actually got that far but yeah didn't quite make it i'll show you what fear really is prepare to taste defeat oh was that a splice did he fail the first time i guess must have been <laughs> or was that just you know open in the menu i guess i mean it could well have been just, i might just be losing my mind basically just threw a grenade at himself um is basically what happened there this is a very dark room but yeah it is nice how there is an actual metal gear fight in metal gear 2 when there wasn't really a metal gear 1 so in the msx version of metal gear 1 you fought like a still metal gear that was dormant and you didn't really fight it you attacked its feet while two lasers on the wall would attack you but in the nes version which is the version that we covered on the channel you don't ever see Metal Gear at all, because apparently the sprite and room for Metal Gear was too much for the NES to handle. So they instead just did the freaking supercomputer that you have to put C4 on 20 times before it's destroyed. And it's just like, wow, you did it. You totally destroyed Metal Gear. So, you know, you at least see Metal Gear in the original version. You don't really see it at all in the NES version. But in neither game do you truly fight Metal Gear. So it is nice how at least in Metal Gear 2 you actually fight Metal Gear, you know. There was a Metal Gear boss fight in Snake's Revenge, as we found out. But it was literally just shooting missiles through a duck. A duck? A duct to uh, hit, like, a pretty dormant Metal Gear. Oh! Catch his mind, Snake. Burn in hell! Snake looks slightly different there. Or am I losing my mind? Snake, your eyes are on fire! Throw away all your weapons and equipment, quickly! Use the B button! So that's why Snake looks different then. He's stripped down because everything's on fire. Oh my goodness gracious! Yo, me clothes are on fire! Me, me underwear's on fire! I'm on fire! You can probably keep the rations, right? Or not. Just getting rid of everything, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> throw it all out! <coughs> my oh my. Is the case. Well, I guess you're not throwing that out. Well. Oh, that was a gray fox that dipped out. It's Snake whose head is on fire. Okay. <laughs> well. No wonder he looks so different. He's straight up a different dude. Can he not get rid of the mat? <laughs> Does he figure out how to get rid of the mat? Oh gosh, dang it. Did skipping forward five seconds skip too much? Is that what's going on here? Well, there we go, right? Right? It's unequipped now? Probably. Can't get rid of that. So this must be the finale sequence then, because you're getting rid of everything. So do the finale with uh, with nothing. There we go. Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. Is it just like a fist fight then with nothing? Is that sure what's going on here? It's been a while, Snake. Here we are back in the minefield. Let's say we go at it hand to hand. Chicken fight. 
the two greatest rivals in Foxhound. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Fox, I'll beat some sense back in you. Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. <laughs> He's getting a call right at this moment. Wow. Kazler, Gray Fox, real name Frank Yeager, former member of Foxhound. Oh, it, wait, is he the Frank that that what's your face was uh was interested in then? Cause Frank, that was an important name then. He was the last man to hold the title of Fox in the Big Boss era. The grade five times. Yeah, I know all about how good he is. Better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's a cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everyone in the unit respected uh, respected him or something or other. Respected him, looked up to him. That may be Snake. If you know about his past, it might help you out. Ten years ago, we and the mercenary trade knew him as Hunter. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the eastern side, I guess. In this case, a woman from the eastern block. We tried to get her to come over the fence, but it all fell through. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's when Frank started to hate the politicos. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater. Her name was Gustava Hefner. A fine woman. Um. Eh. Fine woman, movie star type. Gustavo Hefner? Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell you everything that Solid Snake is the great- Tell everyone that Solid Snake is the great mercenary in the world over and out. Well. Well, I, uh, you know, it somehow kinda doesn't surprise me if there's good, bad, and ugly news about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet frame rate. <laughs> Does he just run in circles and get punched? I mean, just like put it all out there. I'm sure none of it will be surprising. But yeah, perfect ring for our final battle in empty room. Yeah, just a small square. He's just running around. He's not even punching back. <laughs> oh, now he's punching back. Kill C Y. They call me Fox. And he just runs around and stuff. <laughs> we don't talk about Pokemon frames here. Yeah, this is a Pokemon frame free zone for now. This is a silly boss battle, isn't it? <laughs> this, is, this is a silly boss, huh? <laughs> My goodness gracious. Well, that's, uh, that's certainly something, isn't it? <laughs> well, there goes Gray Fox. You improve frame rates by saving and exiting the game after exiting a city and then starting again. That Pokemon frames the ugly memory leaks cause it. I know Anima was mentioning memory leaks during the last stream. I don't know exactly what it means, but she was saying that it's good to check the cartridge every once in a while because of memory leaks. I don't actually know what it means, but it sounds spooky. Snake. Looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Fox. Why? We'll find out eventually. I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss might have just been another CO to you. But he saved my life twice. That was way before... This was way before I joined the unit. First time, I was a half-white living in Vietnam. It was after the war, when half-whites were being sent into forced labor. Camps. Camps could have fit on that last one. He saved me from that living hell. Just like he saved all the children here. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a Ronamo soldier. They saved me again. They'd cut off my ears and my nose. This is your idea of paying back. No, got it wrong. I hate war. Just like all the kids here, but I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it in the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Big Boss gives us a place to fight. Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield, and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight Snake. All I can do is... All I can do is fight. Making people happy. Making a woman happy. Something I could never do. You mean... Yes, I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me. I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake. Don't let your fans down. My fans? It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. I'll let payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. Don't be alone, Frank. Gustava is waiting for you. Yeah, because you kind of murderized her. Gustava. 
Thank you. Sake. Guess I uh, he didn't realize that she was the one getting murderized. Welcome back, Sate. The game wound up getting really convoluted and watching it on YouTube now. As the case, picked up cartridge. Over here, snake. 